asked uh, about the offensive line five days before the game, but still a question mark. I mean, is that a concern to you that you don't even know who these guys are yet? And um, how ready do you think you guys are overall? I'm not at all concerned with it because I've seen how everybody who's been in there has performed through practice and, you know, when coach knows, he'll know and he'll put forth who's going to be the starters. And I have no concern at all because I know that whoever's in there is going to get it done. And then, you know, even the next man in, we have guys that are going to be the next man in that will be able to get it done. So I have no concerns whatsoever because we had a great training camp. Any difference moving from right tackle to left tackle other than the obvious? I mean, what's that change been like? It's been pretty seamless for you? Um, I mean, it was more difficult in spring, more so than uh, – and then in training camp, because that was when I actually had to learn all the footwork, flip all the footwork. But, um, you know, you always know that you're protecting the quarterback's blind side. But, um, you know, I just go out there and play football and, you know, do my job. Don't add any extra pressure to myself, because I know coaches are going to put me in a position where I can succeed. Tell what have you with, seen? Go ahead. With position battles still being up for grabs, what is practice like? And I can't imagine there's the continuity that there would otherwise be. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one thing. We're going to have to develop some cohesiveness once we know, you know, where's where. Um, but there's just been high energy because there are guys competing for spots. Because like you said, there's, you know, not spots yet secure, secured. So um, it's just been high energy, up-tempo. You know, everybody's going hard, and that's good. That's going to prepare us well for our games. As, a, as, a, as an older guy of <coughs> this offense, do you take it upon yourself to uh, – Maybe take JT on, under your wing a little bit, or is he? How's he adapted to, to sort of be in the, the voice of this offense right now? I think he's gonna be great. He's always been a really poised. He's, he's poised and football savvy, and him coming in and realizing that he's gonna, you know, probably be that, be that guy. He's actually taking uh, taking control, taking the reins of the offense. And that's been good to see. He's you know stepped up. He's voiced up, and you know, he's kind of taking control. And that's good to see that um, you know he's not he's not gonna back down from it. And then. You know, him being a young guy and not having a lot of experience, we just have to make him look better. You know, the line has to play that much harder to protect him. The receiver's got to make plays until he gets comfortable. What's your confidence level in this line? Like, you know, compared to last year when you guys were coming in and you guys, everybody knew everybody, you guys all, you know, seemed to have that cohesive bond from, from the get-go. Right. I mean, it's, it's always going to be, a, you know, difficult when you're turning around replacing four guys. But, at a, you know, at a place like Ohio State, we're always going to have – we're always going to have talent at every position. And yeah, people are going to be unsure about it because we haven't played yet. But, um, you know, that's what the games are going to be for. We're going to go out there and, you know, show what we got. And like you said, the cohesiveness isn't there, but the ability definitely is. And, you know, that bond will just form, you know, through through the games and through practice through the season. What do you see in Navy? What's that? What do you see when you scout Navy? Their defense is kind of. Uh, they, they, the way they play it, they play it so you can't get your double teams, and that's what we love. When we run the ball, we love our double team blocks. That's what we take pride in. So their four eyes and their walk up buck, they make it so you're all one on one blocking. So it's a lot of man scheme for us, and you know that's going to make it difficult because we're not going to be able to do as much of you know what we like to do, which is the double team blocks. But you know all through training camp we've been working at that, and I think we have a good game plan going in. And obviously, any service academy, the guy, those guys are going to play hard. I know that they're going to play hard. They're going to be gritty. So, um, you know, it should definitely be a battle.